Hey there guys, Infamous Amo again today. Uh, we're going to be doing some math. This won't necessarily be the most entertaining video, but it will provide a lot of useful information um, that can help you make your builds more efficient. If they weren't already, this is going to be more for beginner players who haven't looked for all the math regarding uh, the character damage, attack speed, and crit chance. So anyways, let's get going here. Now, what we've used for this test Initially, we're going to be checking to see whether crit chance is better than attack speed or vice versa. So the max attack speed you can get is 2.5 attacks a second, and the max crit chance is obviously 100%. And we're going to assume you have the 50% bonus from the unique um, ability for the 100% crit chance. So you'll be doing 200% rather than 150%, which is, I believe, uh, I don't know if all characters have 150, but anyway, you'll have 200%. So, they'll have 20 seconds in terms of attacks they get to do. And for the 2.5 attacks a second, you'll get about 50 attacks over the course of 20 seconds. And at 100 damage, is what we used for the base damage number here, you get about 5,000 damage. Now, if you calculate the 19% damage reduction that you get on warrior heroes without adding any armor, but they get some naturally, it's about 81 attack per hit, which comes out at 4,050. For 100% critical chance, at about one attack a second, we'll assume you have decent attack speed, maybe you got a little, so one attack a second. That is 20 attacks, dealing 200 damage as a result of the crit damage boost, totaling out at 4,000 damage, which is 50 less than the maximum attack speed, even before reduction. So, attack speed is definitely better than crit chance. Without a doubt, it's just, that's how it is currently. Now, the next question we're going to attack here is, do you pair attack damage with attack speed, or do you add crit with your max attack speed? We're going to use Grux as our basis for um, stats in order to do the math correctly. Um, we're going to assume that... Um, you get the max attack speed, which comes out at about 42 uh, of your available card points. So you'll have about 18 left to work with, and we're just going to assume you're going to spend that either entirely on crit chance or entirely on uh, attack damage. We're also going to assume you have the 50% um, bonus for crit damage. Uh, you wouldn't actually have 18 points to work with if you got that we'll assume you do to give it the benefit of the doubt just to prove a point um, so past that Grux's natural physical damage without adding any extra damage himself is approximately uh, 95.72 damage we'll round it up to 96 um, at least for in your mind but I did use 95.72 for accuracy in the math that I did. So it's 2.5 attacks a second at about 205 damage. This is with the uh, 18 points worth of attack damage added. For 20 seconds, you get 10,250 damage before any reduction. With 54% crit chance, which is the amount that you get if you spend 18 points on crit chance, with 95.72 damage, and we're going to assume 27 out of 50 attacks will be critical in theory due to the percent. That's not really how that works, but once again, benefit of the doubt. You get about 5,168.88 damage per attack from the critical, and 2,000, not per attack, sorry, that was ridiculous. You get 1,168.88 total from your crit attacks, and then 2,201.56 from your non crits combining to be about 7,370.44 damage. Uh, effectively, crit chance is also worse than attack damage added to your, um, sorry, to your bonus. Uh, uh, getting mixed up. Uh, basically what I'm trying to relate to you is, is that attack damage and attack speed is better than attack speed and critical. While many advanced players, even medium players, have reached this point of thought, uh, it's important for beginners, people who just didn't know or realize, is that crit chance is not worth it where it stands at the moment. Now, you are, you're going to put 
you're likely to put life steal and armor so you won't have exactly max attack speed, most likely or max physical damage, whatever you might get. But the point being is that attack speed damage are just better, regardless of how much you spend on it. Now, as a side note, you should know that Grux and most physical damage heroes have less card scaling, meaning instead of the um, 205, or sorry, it's actually a higher number. I've already reduced it here. Um, normally, you'd get about, see, I have it on here. Let me see if I can find it for you. I have the math over here. So what happens is, uh, normally for attack damage, you'd get about 22.7 damage per three points, but because it's 80% as a result of uh, us using Grux, be closer to 18 or 19 damage bonus per three points, and you still get, um, well, you, you, when you add that to the Grux's natural damage, you still get around 205 damage for 18 points. I've already reduced that, it's the correct number. There are some uh, bits of rounding, but yes. So uh, I hope you learned something. I hope now that you, um, you understand that crit chance is really not worth very much at all, and hopefully that'll help you develop your builds for the heroes in the game. Anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, maybe leave a comment uh, as far as feedback, any other math you might want to know, or any guides you might want to see, or just any video in general. And I hope you guys have a good day.